Hey everyone, good evening, good evening. As always, I hope this video finds you in both good health and in good spirits. So, while we're talking about spirits, let's talk about an article I just finished reading. It's titled, British University Offers Master's Degree in Magic and the Occult. If you've been getting into crystals, manifesting your dream board, or exploring feminist readings on witchcraft, you can now take your hobby to the next level. With the UK's first postgraduate degree in magic and the occult, the University of Exeter is seeking to harness growing interest in the subjects with a course that will explore the history and impact of witchcraft and magic around the world on society and in science. The multidisciplinary degree, which starts in September of 2024, will draw on history, literature, philosophy, archaeology, sociology, psychology, drama, and religion to show the role of magic on the West and the East. Professor Emily C. Love, who leads the course, said a recent surge in interest in magic and the occult inside and outside academia lies at the heart of the most urgent questions of our society. Decolonization, the exploration of alternative ep epistemologies, feminism, feminism and anti-racism are at the core of the program. She said... This reversed the tendency in recent decades to dismiss the study of magic and the occult with the idea that it is no longer of importance to modern people. Citing rituals such as wearing jewelry considered to be lucky or representing a point of contact with a distant person or thing, touching wood or not, sh not shaving to avoid jinxing the team on match day. Sea Love said a superficial glance at our own beliefs and the beliefs of the people around shows us that magic is a part of our everyday life. Responsible scholars would do well to take this seriously. This is confirmed by the growth in the popularity of folklore, witchcraft, tarot, and crystals, which has been understood as a reaction to the decline of organized religion. The census of 2022 found a rise in the number of people identifying as pagans and Wiccans in the UK, while shamanism was the fastest growing religion. Sea Love said that MA is magic and the occult science would, would re-examine the assumption that the West is the place of rationalism and science, while the rest of the world is a place of magic and superstition, including how it underpins Western culture and how its relationship with the nature world can bring new perspectives to climate breakdowns. She th said there was a growing acknowledgement in academia that texts dealing with magic or the occult subjects have been systematically neglected by scholarship in medieval and early modern history, literature and religion, as well as the history of science and philosophy. Seelove said that there had been a lot of interest in the course since its launch with the university receiving more than 100 inquiries. I got to stop there. Um, 100 inquiries doesn't seem like that many to me, but okay. Uh, the course will combine traditional Western academic method mythologies and more art alternative approaches with students able to complete their dissertation through a performance work. It says it will equip students with skills including creative thinking, analytical thinking, curiosity, and life learning. Interesting. Students will have the option to take modules on dragons in Western literature and art, and the legend of King Arthur, Islamic thought, archaeological theory, and practice, the depiction of woman, women in the Middle Ages, the book in medieval and early modern Europe, gender, society, and culture in the early modern Europe, and philosophy of psychedelics. 
interesting. It also has more on here talking about unusual postgraduate courses, which includes one on psychedelic studies. It says, if you're interested in learning how psilocybin can help with a treatment resistant depression, Exeter has another UK first postgraduate course in psychedelic studies. Wow. The postgraduate certificate draws on psychology, psychiatry, and neuroscience to teach healthcare workers about using psilocybin, LSD, MDMA, and other psychoactive drugs in therapeutic work, although there is still not, uh, there's still not license for treatment in the UK yet. All right, so there you have it. They have a school literally now on witchcraft. All right, everyone, take care. Oh, welcome to the apocalypse. Take care. Peace.